All right, so to talk a little bit about chapter three from Respect My Philosopha, um, and you know, part, that particularly you know, reflects on the Imagination Land trilogy and the fact that our government lacks the ability to think create, creatively or critically. Um, this chapter primarily focuses on the value of, of critical thought. And in this episode, I mean, in this uh, chapter and uh, the trilogy, there's a connection between our imaginations and critical thinking. That critical thinking is, in fact, using our imagination, using our imaginative ability to think about who never thought actually think about something? It's fucking crazy, right? But uh, what uh, Kirby says is, you know, it's the ability to cut through the crap and see things clearly, which is really hard because there's so much crap. There's literally <laughs> tons of crap. There's a lot of scatological bullshit, you know, um, to this, you know, that we, that we got to take on, you know. So, um, but I think, like, what, you know, if we look at critical thinking and philosophy, um, you know, in general, and, and he touches on this, you know, um, is that when we think critically and use our imagination, right, we challenge, you know, the dominant ideas of society, the dominant ways of, of thinking, of common thought, of, you know, uh, hegemonic thought, however you want to kind of think about it, right? You know, critical thought always entails a little bit of um, challenge to it. And to think critically and to challenge power, you need to have a fucking imagination. Okay. I think that, you know, what we have in South Park, what we had in Gubax, what we had in the Imagination Land trilogy, what we have in so many of the episodes that have a pretty strong social satire to them is that South Park is challenging small mindedness, right? The narrow mind, I mean, South Park as a town reflects the small minded, primarily white, you know, viewpoint on the world or perspective in, in so many ways. And um, it's so important that South Park combats the small mindedness. It tears it apart, tears it down. And small mindedness or narrow mindedness can also not just be strictly on the right or conservative side. It's, it's obviously very much on the left as well. He talks to, um, you know, about Socrates, who was the first philosopher, who also was one of the first to admit that he didn't know. <laughs> like, he didn't know, so he asked questions, and he challenged people by asking these questions, and it, and it ultimately led to his death. But the ultimate importance of, of, you know, when you can think of Socrates admitting that he didn't know is... Like, that's so important to thinking critically because it challenges you to investigate and to ask questions and to explore. We're currently dealing with a situation where our president is apparently an expert. He's really good at this uh, pandemic stuff, as he said a few weeks, weeks, weeks back, you know. Um, you're not an expert, man. You know, like, you don't know. Like, you need to shut the fuck up and listen and ask some damn good questions to the right people. Okay? Um, and admit you don't know because that's how you're going to get the best results. Um, and, you know, in, in this chapter, he talks about Hoffman and terrorism and Hoffman's uh, writing on terrorism. And there's, you know, five... Um, you know, sort of elements of terrorism, right? Uh, terrorism, you know, all, ultimately um, it can be a way to bring attention to um, inequity, to bring attention to uh, social, political inequities, and um, specifically to advance your cause. So this is political aims and motives uh, behind terror. So like, 
and this is part of you know um, Kirby's chapter. Uh, physical violence, you know, there's a threat or harm, a threat of harm or death. Okay, and this is this is often you know what's more powerful than the threat, well than than the harm or death itself is the threat. The fear of the threat is the ultimate craziness. Like the initial uh, crazy shit going on with COVID-19, people buying guns and toilet paper um, out of fear, right? Threat or harm of death is, is a part, an element of terrorism. Um, and that leads us to the psychological trauma is that it causes, you know, um, there's consequences, you know, mental consequences that are a byproduct of terrorism. And that can ultimately be, um, you know, um, the greatest weapon is fear, you know. Uh, and, and that's what we see in, in the Imagination Land trilogy is how fear uh, can kill your imagination and your ability to think critically, okay? Um, Terrorists, you know, another quality of, of terrorism is that it's, it's organized. It's usually, it's usually organized. Um, so a group is usually behind these acts and will take credit for the acts. And these groups are often subnational, meaning they, they, um, it's not a country, right? That's war, you know, those are acts of war. Um, these are often acts carried out by a group of subnationals with, within a country. So those are characteristics of of terrorism, and obviously, in South Park, you know, um, you know, uh, we have the evil characters who are who 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 are let loose by by the by the terrorists, you know, and 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 that ultimately is what we're afraid of: is the terrorists letting our imagination run run, you know, creating the situation where our our, our minds in our imagination can run wild.